Hi everybody. Recently on my blog I shared it, a post in regards to assessing uh, with a gamified approach based on Alice Keeler's work and John Orr. And uh, I shared out that spreadsheet and I've had quite a few questions in regards to how that spreadsheet works. So we're going to go through that today and I'm also um, going to show you a little bit of my digital workflow and how I assess students and provide them some feedback. So here we're looking at the master spreadsheet and you can see learning goals across the top and then along the rows you'll see this is where you would put your student names. Now I'm going to just show you um, a sample of what this might look like. Um, basically we have every student getting a copy of what you're looking at here which is their assessment or their skill evidence sheet. So they get to actually go to a website um, where they can access this information. and. Uh, all along the side here we also have our resources so you'll see a, a link to a digital Dropbox so when students are ready to hand something in they click on the digital Dropbox and they'll come in and actually uh, submit their name submit uh, their course as well as copy a link from Google Drive so they'll actually go to their Google Drive uh, this can be done on iPad on a Chromebook or on any de desktop or laptop um, they'll go grab that shared link and paste it in um, notify me with what learning goal they're actually referring to so I don't have to go digging around and trying to figure out what it is they're trying to address. Um, they tell me whether it's the first time they're doing this or whether they're readdressing the learning goal and then they submit. And on my end I get to see all of the student um, responses and ultimately get to click on that link in order to check out their work. So now while this is just a blank uh, PDF file uh, I'm going to go back there and I'm actually going to click on an exemplar from something a student handed in recently and uh, we'll go in and we'll, we'll show you how we actually annotate over top of this and, and share it back. So here's a student's work and uh, as you can see this student's completed it digitally but a student could take a photo of work and submit it. Um, what I do in Google Drive I actually click on the open with button and I add an extension called Doc Hub and Doc Hub is completely free and allows you to essentially annotate over top of PDF files. Um, from within here you can do quite a number of different things including highlight. Um, I use all these different little stamps just to kind of let students know that uh, that I have seen what they're up to. Um, if I need to uh, assess some some specifics or give them some specific feedback I can use the text tool to do so. Um, so quite a few things that we can actually do with this app uh, or with this extension um, as you can see here. And when you're ready to share this with the student I can actually export this copy to Google Drive so it's actually not going to modify the original file it's going to create a copy uh, and then I go to that copy and I can then share it with the student or I can actually take this particular file and make it uh, public for anyone with the link and I'll actually take that link and then go and copy it into that particular student's uh, skill evidence record. So I'll go back to that spreadsheet and I'll go back to the master spreadsheet in order to paste that into um, the feedback box for that particular learning goal or that particular skill as you can see here and then from the other end from the students end they'll be able to see that link and they can click on it and then see the feedback and then readdress or resubmit or do whatever that particular student needs to do in order to show that they have uh, gained an understanding of the concepts from that specific skill. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on what you might be able to do in your classroom uh, using Google Sheets. Uh, if you have any questions, stop by the blog, tapintoteenminds.com.